Hi everyone, this is Becky, Black Art Beauty 14. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of natural collection. I've decided to do a simple, natural, dewy look inspired by the brand. Before we get started, I'd like to make one quick disclaimer. This video is completely 100% not sponsored. I bought these products with my own money. I am not a professional makeup artist in any way whatsoever. I'm a girl who likes to buy makeup, try makeup, and all that jazz. <laughs> I do apologise if my voice sounds a little bit up and down throughout the whole video. This is my very first video, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> By the way, if you guys are wondering what the yellow onesie is I'm wearing throughout the whole video, it's a Pikachu onesie. Oh my god, when my boyfriend bought this for me, I literally died. I love it! I believe he bought it for me from Primark, I think? Yeah, I think it was from Primark because I remember seeing a Jigglypuff version of it and I went back there to buy it and it was sold out so I cried. I was like, no, not Jigglypuff. I wanted to buy the Jigglypuff version, but never mind. <laughs> well, in my dad's words, I'll always be known as the walking banana. <laughs> Uh, anyway, me yabbiting along, yabbiting along. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. Let's get started. Ta-da! We got the natural face going on. Get it? Natural? Ugh, sorry. Terrible. Poor joke. Anyway, um, to start off with, I'm going to be using the Natural Collection Hydrating and Radiance Primer. This is a really nice primer. I have super dry skin at the moment, so this will help to really hydrate and prep the skin, as well as give that natural dewy glow. So I'm going to be applying this all over the face. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Hydrating and Radiance Foundation. This is a really lightweight formula. It says that it gives you a light coverage, but personally, I think you can get away with medium because this is a really buildable coverage and it looks really nice on the skin as well. I'm going to be just applying this with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to be using the Liquid Concealer in the shade Fair. By the way, my foundation shade was porcelain. It's a really brightening concealer. It covered up all my dark circles and it wasn't even heavy. And now I look a little crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to be blending this with my Beauty Blender. To set the face, I'm going to be taking the Natural Collection Matte Press Powder in the shade Natural. This powder is like velvet to the skin. It literally just glided onto my skin and just set everything. Literally, my face was budge proof. <laughs> I'm going to be setting this with my big fluffy brush. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Natural Collection Brow Kit. I believe it only comes in one shade. It comes with a spoolie and a dual ended brush. First, I'm going to be taking the spoolie and brushing my hairs upwards just to get an idea of my natural brow shape. I'm going to be taking one side of the angle brush and dipping into the powder and just filling in my eyebrows. I do apologise if my eyebrows look a little bit sluggish, I'm still practising. <laughs> I'm now going to be using the other side of the brush, going into the wax and just lightly filling in my eyebrows, just to set them in place. I'm going to be using the spoolie now and just blending the wax and the powder together. I'm going to be repeating the same steps on my other eyebrow and doing it off camera so I don't bore you guys to tears. I also went back in with that concealer just to clean up any of the edges around the eyebrows. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Natural Collection Bronzing Powder in the shade Golden Glow. Taking it on a big fat fluffy brush and applying this all over the crease. I'm sweeping it back and forward and in circular motions till it looks completely soft and blended. For the lid colour, I'm going to be going in with the Natural Collection Eyes Mono Eyeshadow in the shade White Opal. This is a beautiful golden eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply a little bit with my finger. Oh, whoa, okay, I didn't realise it was that pigmented. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just going to apply this all over the lid with my finger. This eyeshadow would also make a beautiful highlighter as well on so many skin tones. 
I'm going back in with that same big brush I used to apply that bronzer shade in the crease and I'm just going to be blending the gold and the bronze shade together. For eyeliner, I'm going to be going in with the Natural Collections Eye Cold Pencil in the shade Brown. This pencil is super creamy. I was going to go for black, but I felt like it was a little bit too harsh, so I decided to go for brown. I'm just going to apply this on the lid and on the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with that mono eyeshadow on a flat brush and I'm just going to blend this under the lower lash line just to blend the brown and also make my eyes pop! Woo! For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Natural Collection Volume Mascara. This is a pure black mascara with a simple applicator. This does give a nice bit of volume, like it says on the tube, but it gives fantastic separation. My lashes look so separated. Now, you can keep it as one coat if you wish, just to keep it simple. Where's me? I like to go in with a second coat and a third coat. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to be applying that on my lashes. Yeah. And I mustn't forget the bottom ones. I'm going to be doing the same procedure on the other eye. Boom, my lashes are done. You know you just hate those moments where mascara sometimes gets caught on your lid or on your lower lash line? Well, I just went over with the plain brush, the fluffy brush, and the flat-ended brush just to clean up any mascara markings. The eyes are done. Moving on to the face. I'm going to use that same bronzer that I used on my eyes, which is the Natural Collections bronzer in the shade Golden Glow. And I'm just going to warm up my face with an angled brush. I'm going to go back in with that big powder brush that I used the setting powder for to set my foundation in place and I'm just going to use that to clean up my bronzing edges to make them less and sharp. Aliop. I'm now going to use the Natural Collections Blush and Glow Duo in the shade Pink. I'm going to start by using the blush side on that same angle brush, but obviously knocking the excess product off, of course, first. And I'm just going to be rosing up my cheeks. I'm now going to use the other side of the pan, which is the highlighting side, and I'm going to be applying that on a big fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to be applying this and, oh, hello, you see that glow? Oh, no wonder why it's everyone's favourite. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, anyway, calming down, Rebecca, calm down. <laughs> I'm just going to apply this on the cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, wherever needs that glow. And to finish this whole look off, I'm going to be using the Natural Collection lipstick in the shade Fig Leaf. This is a nice, everyday wearing lipstick. And that is it, my loves. That completes this entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, my very first YouTube video. Oh my God. But if you have enjoyed this video in general, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to share this with your friends. And if you guys want to leave a comment below, please feel free. I love to read and chat with you guys. Thank you guys for being here today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Pika pika.